Understanding Lattice Structure, A Simple Guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting phrase you might encounter in various contexts. Lattice Structure. This phrase can be a bit tricky, but don't worry. We'll break it down together to make it as clear as possible. So, let's dive in and demystify lattice structure. First, let's understand the word lattice. A lattice is a regular, repeated arrangement of points, lines, or objects in space. It's like a pattern that goes on consistently in a structured way. You can think of it as a grid or a mesh, like the crisscross pattern on a garden trellis. Lattices are used in many fields, from architecture and gardening to mathematics and science. Now, let's talk about structure. In English, structure refers to the arrangement or organization of something. It can be about how parts of a building are arranged or how ideas in an essay are organized. It's all about how things are put together to form a whole. So, when we combine these two words, lattice structure refers to a specific arrangement or organization that follows a lattice pattern. This term is often used in scientific and architectural contexts. For example, in chemistry, a lattice structure might describe how molecules or atoms are arranged in a solid. In architecture, it could refer to a design that includes a lattice pattern for aesthetic or functional purposes. To make this clearer, let's look at some examples. 1. In science, scientists might talk about the lattice structure of crystals, where atoms are arranged in a repeating pattern. 2. In architecture, an architect might design a building with a lattice structure for a facade, creating a beautiful pattern that also allows light and air to pass through. 3. In technology, in computer science, Data can be organized in a lattice structure for efficient processing and retrieval. And that's a wrap on lattice structure. I hope this explanation helps clarify this interesting phrase for you. Remember, English is full of unique terms and phrases, and understanding them can open up a world of knowledge. Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to exploring more exciting aspects of the English language with you in future videos. Happy learning!